We have a lot to catch up on. Okay, vlog. <laughs> Long time no see, but since you guys loved my move-in video from last year, I figured I'd do another one. So I'm going back to UVM, a shocker. Um, as a sophomore, I passed um, my first year, so that's good. And yeah, if you're wondering why I'm driving, well, actually, I'll just update you later. Just made it to campus, to my building. I have a car on campus this year. That's what I was trying to tell you earlier. There's not much in it. All of it is in my parents' car, which my dad's waiting for me, so I have to go. But I was really, okay, not gonna lie. I don't know if you can tell, but I was really crying before this. And now I'm excited because we're actually on campus. So I'm gonna go meet my dad. We're gonna bring all my stuff in and we'll check out the room. Guys, shit has been literally crazy. So <laughs> let me tell you about it. I'm pretty sure I've been through like the full scale of human emotions in the past 48 hours. <laughs> so I'm in my dorm, which I'll show in a second. And I haven't really unpacked other than putting my sheets on this bed just because I'm here five days early since I am training to become a certified yoga teacher at UVM. Um, so we have like a five day intense training thing, um, which starts tomorrow, 7 a.m. <laughs> Right and early. Um, anyway, I'm really, really, really excited about that, and I can talk more about that if you guys want. But this is a move-in video, so. But yeah, I'm in a triple. There's a bunk bed above me with these two girls who seem great. I haven't really gotten to know them, but that's awesome. But they seem cool. They're coming on Sunday, it's Tuesday. So I have like five days in here on my own. I just wanted to like get settled in a little bit and like kind of wait for them to figure out how we want to arrange the furniture because there's like a bajillion different ways to do it. But yeah, my parents helped me move in. They're gone now, um, so I'm chilling. But also I have had, I don't know if I've showed this, but the screen on my phone is so messed up. So. I had just gotten a new phone and I was having troubles transferring them, serious troubles. Like I was up like all night last night till like 4 a.m. trying to figure it out. So I've had no phone for the past like two days. So I haven't been able to get any texts and I don't know if like I'm getting anything important. Like I don't think I would be, but like it's a little, it has been giving me some anxiety. On top of like anxiety and like sadness about moving back away like moving back out of my parents house so yeah because of all that i really wanted to film but i was just like there's too much on my mind like i couldn't like it was too stressful also i put off packing a lot so like i was really packing like today at like 1 p.m to move in at like 3 so <laughs> yeah but i'll show you the room so for safety reasons i'm not going to disclose the exact location of this but it is the harris millis complex so this is a room, it's not a forced triple, it's meant to be a triple, so it's pretty spacious. Like you can see there's definitely like a ton of different ways we could do furniture, like could do a wardrobe there and like a bed there or like desks or under or like we could do a bunch of little short beds, like I don't know. Um, I kind of have stuff all over the place but I set up on this bed in this closet and like kind of that desk, I don't know. Like I said, once my roommates get here, we can figure out how we want to set up the room, but that's how it is right now. Anyway, I think I'm going to keep on working on my phone nightmare, <laughs> put on some Love Island, and um, maybe order some food, because dining hall, guys, I forgot how much it sucks to eat there. Uh, so I may order Panera. Guys, um, I actually forgot I was making a video today. Um, sorry if it's like all over the place. Um, it's been kind of hectic. It was kind of hectic moving in and now I've been alone for like six hours and I'm kind of going stir crazy. There's no one really on campus except orientation leaders and athletes and they're both super busy. So no one I really know is around and can hang out. Plus, I can't really hang out anyway because I have to get up at 7 in the morning tomorrow. 
to yoga training so i can't really like go out either so yeah i haven't even packed but what i did do is go to panera and i got broccoli cheddar mac and cheese it kind of sucked but it was like exactly what my soul needed um and i watched love island i should have gotten something cold though because it's so hot i didn't realize how lucky i was that my dorm last year had ac so yeah if you're in harris mills next year there's no ac nada my camera's gonna die so i'll meet you in the communal bathroom my first communal bathroom experience on my phone my new phone with a 0.5 camera finally god damn <laughs> of me putting away some clothes. I figured it's as good a time as any to do a little catch up while I do my skincare, which is currently not put away. Like, I don't have a way to organize that right now. Um, anyway, but I'm not sure how much I like cohesively spoke today <laughs> um but yeah i am my name's ella i am a rising well i guess now sophomore at uvm in burlington i love it wasn't always that way i don't think it came across in my videos but i had a very rough first semester and the second semester was like ups and downs um so that's why I was like freaking out moving in because I was really nervous that it was gonna be like last time I moved in, which was not fun for me. And I can talk more about that another time if you guys like, but yeah, I'm here five days early for yoga training. I have that every single day from eight to noon and then from two to six. So pretty much that's all my time. I live in Burlington, like my parents live in Burlington. So I'm close to home. I have friends who haven't moved to their colleges yet and friends who go to UVM who haven't come. So it's kind of like a weird transition period right now. My roommates are coming on Sunday. That's when everybody moves in. And then I have some friends who are already here as orientation leaders, but I just kind of wanted to take today for myself and <laughs> just like, you know, it was much needed. Amanda, I'm one of my best views coming Thursday, I believe, for, for this like sophomore orientation thing she's doing. So that's good. I'm not like by myself by myself. I just am today, but it doesn't even really feel like that. I just like, I'm really glad I have this time to get settled and get acclimated before classes because classes start on Monday. Okay, yeah. As far as classes go, I don't know if any of you really care, but I am a public communications major concentrating in community media and journalism in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences with a Food Systems and Global Studies minor in CALS and CAS. Um, I love my classes, love my major. I'm so glad I came to UVM because if I had gone to some of my other top schools, I probably would not have found this specific path, which I'm really glad I did because I love it, obviously. But since class is done on Monday, I just ordered a new planner. Amazon, uh, yuck, but I didn't really have another option. Guys, I've been obsessed with red lace recently. I don't know like if anybody else cares, but planner unboxing, I love planners. I have to say I'm a big Google Cal girl. I used Google Cal all last year and I loved it. I'm gonna still use it, but I wanted a written down way to keep track of my school stuff because especially second semester last year, I like kinda like it slipped my mind a little bit this is the moleskin 2022 to 2023 weekly notebook diary slash planner and it has i love this i love this love 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 it has the days of the week on one side and then this is just lined paper so you can do to-do lists or notes or whatever and there's no lines on the days, which I love. Wait guys, the more I look at this, the more obsessed with it I am. I did not realize it 
came with stickers and it has hold up okay first of all it's got 2022 and note space for travel plans and then the months two months on one page all the months are together and then all the weeks are together so i can have like my entire semester like there it is that was it in two pages it even has 2024 i don't even want to think about how that's a year it's got global holidays and time zones a list of every single country and you can check off the ones you've been to i literally wrote that by hand in my old journal conversions also and then itinerary space ideas and goals look at this my extraordinary moments this year my blank space come on a ruler draw your own map before you bend okay moleskin that's enough free promo reimburse me for the planner if you'd like me to do a full video on it <laughs> apologies to those of you who don't care i just had to go off for a second because this is the coolest freaking planner ever i literally have so much energy but it's late and I need to get a good night's sleep for my first day tomorrow, so I'm gonna take a melatonin and go to bed, and I will deal with this mess tomorrow night. I am running out the door to go do the afternoon session of my yoga class, but here's a little OOTD. I have no idea where this is actually from on top, but these are from CR Trading Post, and if you have one, near you it's like tj maxx for outdoor clothes i highly recommend i get like half my workout stuff there and then i also have a t-shirt and a sweatshirt because it's like 80 degrees out right now but it's really cold in the room that we're in because there's ac so more organizing content later since i do live 15 minutes away and i have a car on campus this year and i have no food in my room currently I went home to get some, so haul from my parents' house. This one peach, this is like perfectly ripe. I'm gonna eat it tomorrow morning. I took an entire jar of peanut butter, but they had like two other ones open and another backup. I don't know, my family's like peanut butter hoarders. So I have them for myself, that's a necessity if you know me. Two random bars, half-eaten bag of Chex Mix, which I only, we only had that at home because I like it, so no one's missing out. As well as, ugh, this is so random, I don't know if this is just like something that my family does, but homemade trail mix. <laughs> it's just like peanuts, raisins, and chocolate chips, and it's so yummy. Yeah, my meds, that's like the main reason that I went in the first place, because <laughs> I forgot those. Oh yes, and also, so I got Panera last night for dinner. I don't know if I said that, but I had no utensils and I forgot to check the box for utensils. So I ate it with the lid. It was mac and cheese and I ate it with the lid. It was so awkward, but I was starving. So I was like literally a wild animal. Um, but yeah, I got these random like wonky silverware that don't match the rest. My coffee cup and this other cup. Yeah. Oh my god, it's touch screen. Hey everyone! Hi! Amanda's here! I told him you were coming. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm Amanda. Um, I'm sweating my balls off. No, I you don't realize how lucky you are <laughs> until you don't know what you have until you lose. Can I wear my own home shirt because I am becoming a yoga teacher? Yeah. Get dressed with me. 